if you see, and I've told you before, I, uh, when they were, you know, I always kept in, tra in uh, touch with Jackson. And, uh, ever since Randy, you know, turned me on to Charvel, and I went down there, and he said, you know, he blew it with the V, but, it, you know, it's good enough. And everybody's like, well, that V, you know, I, listen, he told me what he told me, and if you don't want to believe it, I don't care. So, <laughs> he was happy with the way it sounded. But what happened is he went down to Charvel, he gave him a, told him what he wanted, a guy that worked at Charvel, you know, I'll, I'll know his name, the, ran up after him and said, dude, I can do it for this much. And he did, and he uh, thought he knew all the tricks, and all the tricks everybody knew. Everybody thought, you know, this neck should be used in order, because the big thing was the bar which I do not use at all on this guitar. Because uh, what he did, he really did a lot of stuff to keep this thing in tune just for the little things he did on Over the Mountain and whatever else he used this on. Everybody scream it out. All five of you that are watching. <clears throat> but when I knew this was going to happen and found out that they were going to relic it, because I thought relicking the... Well, yeah, I thought relicking the uh, EVH was ridiculous. I mean, you're paying enough to buy a nice car, or a couple of nice car, a decent car, f for a guitar that looks like it's been dragged behind a truck for friggin' five miles. So, no. And so they said they're going to do... What they did, you know, the same guy is going to relic, and you know, because he's, and he is good. I mean, there is an art to it, but I, I don't like guitars that have not been relic, that have not had their marks, you know, battle scars done naturally by either me or whoever I bought it from. So I told them, and they were still screwing around with ideas at this point. They had bodies all over the place that they were going to just junk. Or certain guys are going to just grab. You know, a lot of things go around. It's not, you know, is it's not like, uh, what are they, I'm trying to think. Oh, I was shooting uh, when I was in the film doing coloring, and we're doing a Howard Stern's movie. There was actually armed guards at the machine. They had all the monitors turned off. The only monitors were in our room. As we shot the dailies, and if you don't know what dailies are, look it up. And no one could see it. And they had guards there. I think one was armed. I don't know if all of them were armed. I mean, Howard Stern, but he thought it was a pretty hot crap, and they didn't want it leaked. None of it. Because it was a big deal. So, this was not like that. I went down there, and at the time, I think, I think... Because things are really fuzzy. This is around the time uh, before the accident where I, you know, was in a coma. I had lost finger uh, feeling in my fingers. That's why this whole thing, you know, why this guy make so many videos? Because I want to see if I'm progressing because you really can't tell when you're playing. Sometimes you're like, wow, I'm really do I'm pretty good. And then you look back on it or you listen and you go, holy crap, I suck. Or a lot of trolls tell you that. Usually when the trolls come out, you're doing pretty, you're, you are sucking, so they get to jump on you. But when you're doing good, uh, then your friends will say, hey, good job, or whatever. Because I'm, I'm, I'm getting fed up, and I've got much better things to do, like, uh, you know, other things. And I'm, i done putting out ideas for my album, because, bad idea to do that. But I wanted to get the word out there. So I need I need to find a drummer just to jam with and to get things going uh, while I'm in Burbank. I've got one in Utah, but even that, it's very hit and miss. So I got an amp up there, and I got these two amps here. And when he's ready to jam, but he just had two kids, da-da-da, you know. 
So, I need someone to jam with. I just need a drummer. And bass player would be fine, but I don't care. I don't need a bass player. I, I need mainly a drummer. So, uh, enough. So I just wanted to pull this out. Actually, I'm still looking for another guitar. And I ran into this, and I'm like, haven't played it in a while. So the difference in this is they it's not Relic. Uh, I put my bangs, I bang the crap out of it here, but I just fixed it myself. And if you look really close, you can tell, I'm, you know, whatever. And I put, I got the body. So I go, what is it? Low, low, low. Because I'm not going to even use the, the same pickups or anything. Because I wanted to use my pickup that I had had uh, Seymour uh, kind of tweak from the old, what's now the 78 model, but boosted for that warm sound. And so this is actually an EVH, a tweak EVH model from years ago. It was called the Custom Custom, now it's the 78 model. This one is a black pickup. I don't know what the hell it is. But it's decent. I think it's a Seymour. Pretty sure it's a Seymour because it doesn't, you know, uh, I don't think it feeds back. If it was on. Well, that was weird. Um, <laughs> but there you go. So, this is mine. Uh... You know, that's not even the right bar, because I didn't, this I put on, I had my tr tech put all this on. These are flat, gold, you know, flat to the body. This is a custom, this is a, a, who knows. This is the kind that I wanted put in there. Not, it might be the same here, Randy used, because there's a certain kind that is really sturdy, and that's what I liked. That, of course, is put exactly like his. That was no problem because it was already drilled for it. And, uh, yeah, that's that, really. And I got a, a shiny gold back plate. And that's it. There's nothing. There's no markings. There's nothing. But I, they did give me the uh, truss rod cover because that alone is a lot of money. And that's the original, original cover that's made out of the same uh, material as the fretboard, and that is it. Other than that, everything is different. I put these knobs on that are close, and that's it. And you know, and and, and the strap, because I I saw I thought the strap does make you know he wore different straps, different guitars. You got to do it. But I actually had this made by a guy in Australia. Uh, I thought he was doing good work. Everything else is uh, that other place that everybody gets their straps from. So, let's go. I've talked too long. <laughs>
gonna blow your friggin mind you can't hear it it's on just slightly but oh my gosh when I saw this on rig rundown on uh, Judas Priest guy then uh, Faulkner that guy's amazing and if you notice on on Faulkner he's the KK Downing replacement on this tour he's got a, uh, a, a diary of a madman like replica outfit where Randy had the leather going around here and the straps and all he's it's the dude loves Randy Rhodes and when he's pointing his guitars out he's got a black beauty doesn't call it that and he goes and I got it you know the Rhodes you know toggle he loves Randy Rhodes and there's little things you can catch about Randy from this uh, Faulkner dude but see, I keep switching picks because this is what I'm used to playing. This is a Randy pick. I'll show you really quick the way he would, uh, he'd shape his picks for, uh, his, the way he played. So that's why he, he kind of glides along and he could do a lot of that, those harmonic crap. And, you know, I use it for stuff. And, uh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
watch it. So there's some Randy in there. But there's me, dude. I'm me, man. Me, Michael D. Rock legend. Writing my book. But uh, here, that's this is my uh, Concord. And it's more Concordy than your Concord, if you have one. And this also has no serial number. And either should yours if you actually have one. No serial numbers. Because... Okay, so going from here, I want to show you my new toy. Uh, badass, dude. I'm telling you, you're going to freak. This is an ogre. <laughs> I hope it shows up. But uh, let's turn it off. Okay. So I just had it on the basic setting as my uh, carbon, you know, carbon copy MXR. Same thing. So I ran in, out of there, out of there, in there. And so when you want to adjust it, you lift up the face mask. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so cool. Even if it didn't do anything good, it's still cool. You adjust it. Check it out. Play. Yep, here's a delay. And you close it so you can't hit anything. What a brilliant idea. Brilliant. I'm watching too many British things. But that is my new delay. And it's looking back at you. Doesn't that freak you out? And then I can just tell it, stop looking at them. Now I'll stare at, at them again. The ogre delay. Dude, the thing is badass. You, there's nothing you can say that. I don't know. It's kind of kind of. Dude, it's cool. <laughs> That's cool, man. And it's just typical, you know, nine volt. You can put around with the whatever. So, but it's got the same thing, basically as carbon copy. But actually, this has a longer delay. So I can't remember exactly what it is now as opposed to that, but this sounds... I used it today. Did you hear a difference? It's supposed to sound a little warmer. I could hear it, but I don't know if you... All right, so I'll end up on that. See how everything is just... There's just masses of effects, you know, just... But, you know, this is for when I have to show people, this is why that sounds so bad. So I have that there ready to go. And then the overdrive that I use, the phase, carbon copy, which I don't know why is on because you're not on. That, the mimic, which is always on now. And uh, this one for today. And always probably the ogre delay. All right, man. This is actually in a red. You can get them in different colors, but they all have the same uh, light or eyes. Dude, metal! Lakes.